Hello everyone, hope you are doing great. In this video, I'll be talking about aroma present in compounds due to several functional groups. And here I'll be highlighting the importance of chemistry or chemical compounds which incorporate different fragrances in different flowers. So for example, we have roses, we have uh, cornichians, violets, lilies, hyacinths, kismets, lilacs. So these are the different flowers you can uh, find their native names or botanical names in your own uh, subjects if you are a botany student but if you want to find their names in your local language you can just type the name of uh, these flowers in the google and you can get the name of these flowers in your own uh, language so a wide range of compounds contribute to the scent of flowers so you go to a garden and you can smell the fragrance of different flowers now what makes these flowers to smell so good that's the uh, chemistry behind it that's what we are going to discuss in this video basically there are various different functional groups various different chemi chemical organic chemistry compounds which are responsible for the fragrance present in flowers this graphic looks at a selection of major contributors for a number of common flowers note that violet aroma compounds can vary significantly between species this graphic represents a broad overview of common compound components and is by no means definitive so this is not the full complete list but this is the list of major components or major chemistry compounds chemical molecules present in these flowers let's discuss one by one for example roses which are red what sort of compounds present in uh, these uh, uh, flowers so there's a cis rose oxide it's a chemistry compound present in roses having this kind of a structure having double bond and ether cyclic ether linkage and second compound is beta temestadine and having two double bonds inside the ring one double bond outside the ring and a ketone functional group this one and two methyl groups and third one which present uh, compound which is present in roses is beta ionone having this structure similar to the top one but instead of three uh, three double bonds this contains two double bonds and three methyl groups and ketone group so these are the three important chemical compounds present in the roses which provides them fragrance so that's the reason due to these three compounds roses smell a uh, good fragrance next type of flowers is this one which contains eugenol having a phenolic structure this is a phenol ring having a methoxy ether group and alkene and second uh, important compound present in these flowers is beta carophyllene having this kind of a structure it's a chiral molecule as you can see there are chiral centers uh, in case of uh, this uh, double bond and this is one endo double bond and one is exo double bond so endo double bond is present inside the ring and exo double bond is present outside the ring and the third important compound present in these flowers is methyl salicylate having this phenolate phenolic like structure like this molecule next class of compounds uh, next uh, uh, kind of flowers are violets in color you can see in gardens similarly and they contain similar to roses uh, different three major compounds one is alpha ionone having two double bonds one inside the ring and one outside the ring and having a ketone functional group second important compound is beta ionone similar to the top one but slightly different in the position of the double bond so similar to the top one it has two double bonds and one is endocyclic double bond one and another is exocyclic double bond and the ketone moiety third one is beta dihydroquinone 
a type molecule having double bond they inside the ring and a ketone functional group and it's saturated outside the ring <laughs> that's why it's called dihydro means its double bond is saturated so these are the three important or these are the three major chemistry compounds present in these flowers that's why these compounds give you aroma or give you fragrance lilies one of the most uh, famous flowers around the world they contain three major uh, chemistry organic chemistry compounds one is linalool having cyclic acyclic structure there's no ring present in this structure there are two double bonds in this molecule and a one oh group second is beta osimine having this three double bond like alkene type structure uh, their two double bonds are conjugated they are in resonance to each other last one is a very famous molecule that is myrcene that is famously present in all of the perfumes mostly mostly all of the perfumes that contain myrcene compound which gives them a beautiful uh, fragrance and this is the structure of that compound which provides fragrance to these strata flowers which contains three double bonds out of these three double bonds two double bonds are in conjugation next type of flowers is this one which contains osiminol as a major component and then cinnamyl alcohol second component having this uh, benzene ring double bond alkene and alcohol functional group so it contains kind of a three different functional groups in one molecule one is aromatic another is alkene and third one is alcohol and the third compound which is present in these flowers is ethyl 2 methoxybenzoate it's a ester functional group you can see this one second functional group is ether and third one is aromatic part so these are the three major compounds present in this kind of a flower next type of flower is this one you must have seen in the gardens and it contains alpha pinene and having a bicyclic structure you can see this is a beige carbon and double bond present there due to this compound this molecule this flower gives you the fragrance and the third one a uh, second type of uh, this is eucalyptol having this bicyclic structure and a cyclic ether type linkage you can see there's oxygen present in a ring that's cyclic ether and third one is this having a pinene type structure but instead of uh, uh, there's additional ketone group present in this mole uh, molecule that these are the three major compounds organic compounds which are responsible for the fragrance of this flower last one is lilex this is a flower which gives a beautiful fragrance due to the presence of three major organic compounds one is beta oxylimine having three double bond acyclic structure you can see it contains alternative double bonds in two positions which are in conjugation and three methyl groups second one is lilac aldehyde it's aldehyde functional group as you can see is my pointer going there this is the aldehyde linkage and this is a cyclic ether and this is a double bond and there's a chiral center as well and the last one is lilac alcohol which is responsible for the fragrance of uh, this flower having this cyclic ether structure alcohol and double bond so these are the three major compounds present in this flower and this was the overview about different classes of flowers and their major organic compounds hope you understood bit of it and now you can every single time go to a garden you see flowers you can think about that there are so many organic compounds present in them or even if you go to any perfume shop you purchase a perfumes and you can check the contents ingredients present in perfume you might come across one of these compounds might be present in that perfume most probably myrcene my bet is myrcene and if i guess second one is this eugenol alpha anion so these are the compounds which have peculiar aroma peculiar smell peculiar fragrance and due to their unique fragrance they provide unique to the flowers 
make sure these are not uh, these compounds are not responsible for the color of the flowers these are the compounds which are responsible for the fragrance of the flowers if you have any questions please comment below in this video thanks for watching take care bye